Uh, so we should comment a little bit perhaps on, on this bridge. Um, it's absolutely very, it's really plain, which is excellent. It means that the load, there are no initial imperfections really that will cause it to buckle laterally, which would be the, maybe the main worry. The group have braced between both the compression cords very well. So the effective length of the compression cords is quite short, uh, which is good. Um, the <laughs> The deck plane is also braced quite well. And there's a long, or sorry, a large member here. So the horizontal component of these uh, the force and the strings is uh, being resisted by this large compression member here. Um, and also you can see that I think they've done quite well. They've uh, put larger members for the forces are greater. So. Do you have any prediction on the motivator on this one? Here at the end, where the board cap? I think, I think so, yeah. yeah just like, th this member here could actually be quite important, because if that wasn't there, the effective length would be quite long. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it can still go sideways, Carl. So yeah. yeah, well that's probably so narrow we were thinking at as well. But you have to get your, you have to get your vehicle through the right. Yeah. So in, uh, in real bridges, to overcome this problem of not being able to take the bracing down, they put a little portal frame in the very end base, so that takes it in bending them.
<laughs> it's a bit warm. <laughs> So the effective length then on those on the, the members that are booked right now. Oh,